All right, here to help us break that all down in terms of the new year and the healthiest way possible we can enter it. We have emergency medicine physician Hiro Tipanini. Thank you for joining us from Phoenix, Arizona. Welcome back, doctor. All right, so let's talk about uh, how annual physicals, right? Let's talk about annual physicals. Should we all be getting one? Absolutely. And I'm so glad we're doing this piece because, as we know, during this COVID, uh, this pandemic, uh, a lot of other health issues have been um, either inadvertently or, or for other logistical reasons been put on the back burner. And we do have to make sure that we maintain our good health. Um, and that those are the basic things that we were probably all doing before this pandemic hit and have obviously changed our, our focus entirely. But yes, we should be getting annual checkups. We should be making sure that things like our blood work, our cholesterol, um, our, our liver functions, our, our you know blood counts, things like that are being checked regularly. Uh, making sure we're looking for signs of heart disease, looking for early warning signs of different cancers, making sure women are getting things like their mammograms and their annual gynecologic exams. All of these things are so important. Men getting their prostate exams, um, anybody over 50 getting their colonoscopies, uh, these are all important preventative measures that we have to make sure that everyone is still being reminded of and paying attention to. Yeah, and we know with the pandemic, we talked about this during the break, that a lot of those preventative appointments, folks were unable to attend, uh, either out of fear or they were just pushed back. What have you noticed in terms of, I guess, the repercussions of last year? Yeah, it's devastating. There's no doubt about it. People had put off getting things uh, checked or examined. Obviously, emergency departments were packed full. Hospitals were full. There were a lot of elective procedures being put off. As we know, hospitals shut down for a lot of elective procedures. And a lot of those things were preventative measures as well. But there simply was not the staff, the personnel, the resources to do those things and care for the critically ill patients that were suffering from COVID or COVID-related illnesses. So we know we saw a rise in different forms of cancer that otherwise would have been found by early detection. So it's so important that we know that these things are still critical, they're still important. Obviously, we're very worried about COVID, but we cannot neglect all of our basic uh, preventative health measures. And, and look, we understand nobody wants to go into a doctor's office thinking that they're going to catch COVID from other patients. Certainly, we want to um, make sure we're protecting ourselves and staying safe. But we also have to weigh that out with our smart, uh, you know, common sense measures of staying healthy in the long run. Um, and I know doctors and doctor's offices are doing their best to try to make sure they keep their patients on track so that they can catch these kinds of early diagnoses, uh, these diagnoses early and intervene and take care of patients appropriately. Yeah, I think the message I got out of this so far is that the fear of catching COVID could have devastating impacts on your health. Right, Dr. T Tipernini? Um, my, my last... I'm sorry, go ahead. I was going to say it can, and we have to make sure that we're we're weighing that with the the risks of of other long term illnesses as well. Yeah, absolutely. I want to talk about because everyone uh, for normally their New Year's resolution, right? It's all about getting healthy and and staying on track and possibly losing weight. A recent study uh, reveals that four out of five Black women are obese, which is startling to say the least. Talk about how important exercise is, especially as we age. It's critical. It's so important. I think anybody who's gone over 40 years old knows how difficult it is to maintain that weight without exercising. You know, when you're younger, you can make quick shifts in your diet and so forth and lose weight quickly. That is not an option when you're older. And frankly, quick weight shifts are not healthy anyway. So we should be maintaining a good, healthy weight. We should be basing that on our, our uh, BMIs. And, and frankly, Good exercise isn't just good for, for weight control. It's good for bone density. It's good for our mental health. It's good for cardiac health. So maintaining a good exercise routine, making sure you're moving, whether it's even little things like taking the stairs, going for walks, doesn't have to be high intensity, but we do have to make sure that we're staying active. And, and you know, in, in times of COVID, obviously a lot of folks have stayed put. Um, whether it's just going out for a walk and getting fresh air, those things can be immensely beneficial, not just to our physical health, but to our mental health in these in these very difficult times. Yeah, and staying fit will also uh, help with your confidence as well. It's nothing like a great pair of jeans. 
<laughs> I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> Dr. Tipperini, thank That's you for good. stopping by. Happy New Year. All right, and BNC Live will be right back. Stay with us. BNC Primetime.